you want to make a pair of earrings in about two minutes? <laughs> Honestly, these ones are so quick. Hi, my name's Carol and welcome to my channel. It's lovely to have you here. I'm continuing my five minute earring series today with these beautiful cage bead earrings. Honestly, these are so quick you won't believe it. So let's have a look at what we need to make these earrings. You don't need much, I can tell you that. So what I've got here is two 12mm acrylic faceted beads, they're round ones, but honestly you could use any large beads for these. I have two ear wires, these ones are 15mm and they've got a, a twist on them. And I've got here the star of the show, which is two of these cage beads. They're called spring cage beads because they are literally like a spring, they just kind of close up and down like that. Okay. Let's do this. I've got a pair of chain nose pliers and that's the only tool I'll need. All we're going to do is take our cage bead, our spring cage bead, and I'm going to slip the bead inside by just opening up the spring. Just like that. That's what I have. Now I'm going to attach the air wire. And I'm going to do that by taking my pliers and I know that this side of the air wire opens so I'm going to hold the ear wire between my thumb and my forefinger and I'm going to hold the loop of the ear wire in my chain nose pliers, just like that. And I'm going to twist up with my pliers or down with my pliers so that I open the ear wire. Now I'm just going to take the loop of the spring cage bead, pop it on there and I'm going to basically reverse that process for the ear wire, to close the ear wire. So holding it on the side, the loop on the side, and holding the rest of it between my thumb and my forefinger, and just rotating it the other way. And just making sure that it's really well closed. So that didn't take long, did it? <laughs> okay, now I just need to repeat. So once again, just opening the spring, popping it in, grabbing my ear wire, holding it on the side, the loop on the side and the rest between my thumb and my forefinger, rotating my pliers down, popping on the loop of the spring cage bead and closing it. There you go. That was super fast. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this super, super quick video. I just wanted to show you that because these spring cage beads are awesome. They make a great focal piece either for a necklace or for earrings and uh, I wanted to share that with you. If you've enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel and like the video and of course ring the bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload new content which is generally about once a week. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.